Hi, welcome to the plot diagram activity. You're actually going to receive this assignment at the very beginning of the unit. Um, and then you're going to have the entire unit to go through and add to the plot diagram um, as the story develops and continues as we discuss plot in class and how you discuss it with each other. Um, so this is going to be an ongoing activity and it is going to be due at the end of the unit. Everybody is going to turn it in at the beginning of the unit on um, a Google form. So let me walk you through what that looks like. So on the plot diagram page, you can see I have everything laid out for you here. The very first thing that you're going to notice is this image of uh, the actual plot diagram. Um, and then you can see that I also have the submission form here as well. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on that plot diagram. It's going to ask you if you want to make a copy. You do want to make a copy. So once you've made your copy, you can see that it is showing up as a Google slide deck. This is just a one page Google slide deck. Now, when you open it up, you might notice that it's kind of tiny. And so I want to remind you that you can um, move it up and uh, use that zoom tool so that um, you can see things a little bit closer. You can see that there are some instructions reminding you to use the Zoom tool um, and then reminding you that you're gonna continue working on this plot diagram throughout the course of the story because you're not gonna be able to do it all at once or all in one week. You've gotta have the, the story all the way read before you can finish the plot diagram. So as we read the story, you are going to go through and um, you're just going to answer the questions that uh, prompt you on the plot diagram. You've seen plot diagrams since elementary school, so um, you should have a pretty good idea uh, what to expect. But you can notice that I've got these boxes that are already incorporated um, into the plot diagram for you that you're going to just fill in. You can also notice that you can move these, you can stretch them, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can change the font size if you're realizing that your text isn't quite fitting, but you're going to just type right in um, to these boxes, just like so. Um, and since you've made a copy, you're, um, this is your personal uh, plot diagram. So as we go through, you are just going to add um, to the different parts. You'll notice that there is a lot in the rising action, um, and that's because the bulk of the story does happen within the rising action. So you shouldn't have any problem filling in all your little yellow boxes here for the rising action because it is the bulk of the story. Okay. Um, I do want you to make sure that you put your name and your class period here. That's going to be um, really important for you. You can see that there's a link to submit your work here. There's also the uh, link back on the web page, um, and the form is just right there. So you're going to go ahead and fill out that form, and then, of course, um, get your shareable link. And make sure that you change it to where anyone at MISD with the link can edit. Your teachers really like when um, we can see that revision history. So you're going to copy that. And then, of course, like we, um, like we always do at the very bottom, that's where you'll paste your shareable link and you will submit that work. Last thing that I'm going to ask you to do um, on your plot diagram is go up to the title and um, Highlight where it says copy of, and if you would just put last name, comma, first name, dash, class, period, and then leave that FFA, that Flowers for Algernon plot diagram, that'll make it really easy for your teacher to identify um, who this belongs to. So that's going to be important. So today, you're going to go ahead, you're going to submit this work, and that way, at the very end of the unit, you don't have to worry about submitting it. Your teacher will already have it. As you update your plot diagram, it is a live link, so it will update um, for us as well, and we'll be able to see that for you. Um, so Anytime you have spare time uh, throughout the next couple of weeks, maybe you've already finished your work for um, that week and uh, you're kind of just stuck with nothing to do, this is what you can work on. This is a great option for you. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know and um, that's it. Thanks.